Okay, so welcome to this uh, first Let's Play for Comp 3218, Game Design and Development at the University of Southampton. Uh, my name is Dave Millard, I'm one of the lecturers on the course, and I'm here with... Adrian Chapman, another lecturer. And Tom Blount, I'm another lecturer on the course. So the idea of these Let's Plays is we're going to go through the students' work and have a look at what they managed to do, hopefully get some honest first reactions, although we have seen some of them before in the expos and things. Um, and then we'll go through the marks criteria and kind of evaluate where the games sit. Uh, Tom, do you want to say what we asked the students to do this time? Okay, so for the first coursework, we asked the students to create a small game prototype that had uh, an interesting core dynamic and a tutorial level or a set of levels that sort of introduced the player to that mechanic and to how to play the game. Brilliant. Okay, so I guess we'll get on and have a look at our first game, which I think is Ship, Ship Shooter. Shooter. The Kraken Invasion. Which is, I said, a, a game you don't want to say too often. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got some nice music to start with. Wow, that is loud. Very loud it's music. Loud. All right, here we're going to start. Um, I'm going to start at the tutorial level. So nice, uh, nice title screen there. You've got the sort of like it's setting the theme quite well. Yes. yes. Okay. Ahoy, Ahoy Captain. Captain. Sharpen your sword and let's go on an adventure. The crew awaits your orders. Yeah, that's nice. Uh huh. Uh, press, oh wait, W, S. So this is Adrian. I, oh no, it left. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> so it's the standard w worst keys. S. Uh oh. Hang on, that was very. I, I stopped pressing. Do I just go until I bump? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's sort of you're setting you see, a yeah, throttle I guess. on your ah, than, oh, Okay. Nice. I have to say, the, the kind of. The waves are kind of fun looking. <laughs> the, the, the whole sea, the motion of the ship, that all works really well. It really does. Although. Tutorial wise, having that, having that. Oh, I missed it. Wait, the... I missed it. Yes, I didn't like the. Oh, and I went faster. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think you can go backwards. So I, I, that's right. You sort of bounce. Oh, you bounce back. I, yeah. I also want to know why I went faster there. I kind of yes, I missed. Oh, what's that thing on the? So the right is your speed. So yes. you're essentially setting the throttle of the sailing ship. Okay. So I also like the way that the, the they brought the crates in and they kind of slowly appeared. Okay, so they don't instruct you to go and collect any of them. No. Which I no. Think maybe like maybe you could add, but I guess as they're the only thing on the screen, so, yeah. you're prompted to go and interact with them. But the fact that your controls are way over in the top left, uh, yeah, and it disappears quite quickly, yeah. like, yes. it feels like that should be I mean, front and center in the middle so of the we're, screen. So we're playing this in a, in a relatively high resolution. All right, so hang on a second before um, we do this. I still haven't actually figured out the controls. So I get the W goes forward at a higher throttle. Yep. S goes down. It slows you down, and then left and right. No. Where is left and right? A and D. A and D. A and D. A and D. S just slows you down. I got it. Okay, so <laughs> now that so took me crate. that long. I'm going to go get that crate. <laughs> but you're all right. The fact that it, so, so I think it's quite small, but that might be the resolution, but then you have to be careful about that kind of stuff. And then the other thing is that it disappears pretty quick. And actually, it's quite a good idea to only have it disappear once, once the, the player players. Shown they can do it. So it may even be nice to maybe put it on the surface of the sea or something, yeah. and then get Whoa. rid of it once you. Yes, it. Or, as and part of the crates, all of the crates. Then yeah. they know they yeah. know the player can control the ship, so yeah. then remove it. I'm really having trouble with this last one. Here we go. Where I'm, oh, I'm we doing go. it. I'm doing it. <laughs> all right. So you're going to enjoy this next bit. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, so we got more there's crates. There's more. Here. Okay. And again, I like the way they bring them in. So I think the look and feel is great. I think they, yeah, you know, yeah. it's a, it's a, it's Absolutely. a relatively simple, but they, they've done it really effectively. And even like things like the way the ship moves and kind of lists. And Absolutely. Kind of stuff just shows you can do some really effective things with. And the nice little sound effects so, like, like every time yep. you pick up a crate. Chock, chock, chock. There you go. There we go. All right, now, <laughs> what was that sound? A nice bit of voice acting. I like that. Uh oh. Uh, it's the Kraken. Okay. Here it comes. L. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now it's disappeared again. So you were so busy dying, you didn't notice it. Yes. So you okay. shoot with the left and right mouse button. I'm gonna run away for a moment. Okay. I see. Okay. So that's, that's kind of interesting because you didn't you didn't have your hand on the mouse. No, I didn't because I wasn't playing with it yeah. yet. So you've got a health bar. There, Oops. I've got a health bar. Where's my health bar? Uh, bottom left. Oh, I see it now. Left. Thank I, you. I assume it's your health bar. But that went down very, very fast the first time that Kraken hit you. Yeah. It's a big Kraken. It it is. Is. I only have like one shot per... Oh, my shot have is... Have you killed it? Or... I don't think I've killed it. Oh, you oh, did? Maybe I did kill it. Okay. So it would have been a, something that was a bit more obvious about it dying would have been good. But yeah. So okay. So next. 
Okay, and now there's sharks. Are sharks bad? Oh, okay. Everything is bad. That, that all Everything's bad. bad. So all bad. So you've got three different enemies with three different attack bands. Okay, so I've got ooh, I've got only limited shots per. Um, so you've yeah. got a little bit of a reload ooh. time, yeah. Yes, I've reload time. I'm really bad at this. Okay, I just sunk. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. Ramming the kraken is a reasonable. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> Kamikaze strategy, right? So Wait, you, where the the you're done uh, with the shark, but the whale is up strong side. So I quite like. So there's a couple of things I like here. I think I think that the um, I like the fact they go under the water and you can't shoot them, but you can still kind of see them. Mm-hmm. That's kind of nice. And I like the fact that they've got different um, attack patterns and things. Yes. So in terms of keeping Oops. it interesting um, and kind of uh, you know balancing things out, it's that kind of classic um, orthogonal uh, enemy design, right? But the thing is, I feel like they could have done a lot more with... So they've got these different enemies that interact in different ways. But because the sort of play space you've got is just, you know, big open ocean, it could yeah. have been really nice to add, like, a little bit more terrain and things like that. If, even yeah. if they just put, like, a couple of rocks dotted around, and you yeah. had to sort of, you know, kite that shark yeah. between them or something like that, yeah. it would give you a lot more sort of ah. interesting play styles. Because right, right now we're just... We're going around in circles and we're shooting yeah. them, and that's kind of it. So I'm so, not even shooting them very well. So one of the things I, I, I mentioned to them when, when we had a look at this in the expo was that the thing with the crates kind of disappears. Yeah. And they said that that's because the crates was to train you how to move around. But actually, having that as a kind of a, a as a as a mechanic that mixed in with this would give you a lot more kind of interesting stuff to do. Yeah. So you get you that have kind to of collect inside. ammo for your yeah. shots or something like that. Or repairs. Or ah, there you go. Let's enjoy the rest of that there we go. Cool. So you can go back and do that level again. I want to see really quickly what else they had. There was a few. Nope. Else no levels coming. More levels. Soon. Okay. Okay. So, so that is the game basically in its entirety. Okay. And so, yeah. Well, let's, well, let's go through the let's go through the the marks the marks and kind of see where we where we end up with right. Um, so the first thing we were going to look at was bugs and whether this works um, and whether there's any kind of problems with it. Um, I haven't seen anything. It seems it seems to me like it's yeah, it's, it, it feels like, feels great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's not an enormously complex game. No, but there's there's enough going on. I think that it's fine. So so for me, we kind of uh, I'll put that down as a maybe as an excellent. It's kind of it's 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 kind of. The only thing against it is it's, the complexity, so maybe borderline or something. I'd, I'd say maybe borderline, but otherwise, yeah, it's like it definitely runs fairly stably. Okay, so if we put that in as a, a somewhere between the good and the excellent, because there's no bugs, but kind of the complexity of the game isn't quite there. Uh, what about presentation? Uh, I was a little bit disappointed with the information design on this one. I, I had a really hard time um, figuring out what I was supposed to be doing because it was not where I was looking. Yeah, so they've got the they've got the accelerator and they've got the health. They're tucked away. I, I wonder whether they scale with the resolution again. Whether there's a whether this has been tested on a small window or something. Maybe and they're, they're much bigger and more obvious. Uh, but when you play them like this, they're they're quite tucked away. Um, so I think one of the things I mentioned uh, in in the labs was having just having your health bar sort of either like just under your ship following the. Yeah, you, you need. You're that, following the ship with your eyes. You're not going to keep glancing back down. To absolutely, that that, so that's, put it where the player is. That's where your focus is. Absolutely. Um, and in terms of the graphics, though, I kind of I, I love it. They're nice. They're kind of. It, like I said it. It looks good. It's kind of very consistent. The models all work together. They've got that a nice bit of um, a nice bit of you know, noir of, <laughs> yeah. voice acting. They've got all that going on. So I think they've done a good job with it. Um, and they've used the music a, a, a very effectively as well. Um, so I would say that here that there's in, in terms of the information design that's kind of at the sort of maybe the satisfactory level it's yeah. kind of it, they, 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 it's shown but but could be better um, but actually the graphics and audio is up at the excellent level so it's yeah. kind of agreed so, so it evens out to good so it probably evens out to be good yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll go for that um, and then gameplay and controls. What do you think? I actually think it controls really well. Somebody else would like to drive for a little while. Uh, it might not be so painful to watch. <laughs> so I, yeah, I really like the controls they've got. I just feel like it feels like there could be a few more mechanics to sort of make yeah. to sort of add a little bit of interest to what they already have. So, so one of the things that that I end up saying to quite a few people actually was. I think one of the problems we've got here is because we're asking people to do a, a game prototype, yeah. 
they could always have done more yeah. and it would almost always have improved things so it's like you know more levels would always be better more mechanics would be better um so but what you can do is you can combine what you have in more interesting ways yeah so, so having, having those crates back in for example. so so having had a crates thing in there having three different types of enemies what it would have been good to do would be to have three or four levels where you introduce the crates and then introduce the maybe one of the big enemies and then you introduce crates with one of the other types of enemies yeah. and you just build up complexity over time and I think that would give you a much more interesting set of kind of interactions. Yeah, I think rather than just having like the three suddenly three different enemy types on the screen if they're yeah. just sort of for example, the first level is just the Kraken again. The second level is like a shark. The third level yeah. is three of these sharks and you yeah. have to start like putting you, together I, things you've learned. And actually they, you don't have to do anything to the game engine. No. The engine is is there. It's just the combination of those things. So I think in terms of a set of complementary mechanics, um, they they do have them there, but they 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 haven't done the, the combined thing. Yes. So ironically, they have complementary mechanics, but they haven't complemented them. They've <laughs> yeah. just shown them sort of, sort of independently. Um, so yeah, where do we think that sits then? So I would say for the for the mechanics, I would say they've got a, a set of mechanics. But maybe for the controls and in terms of play, it's maybe a little bit higher than that. So, so that kind of puts them somewhere between satisfactory and good. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Does that seem reasonable? I think it is. All right. So the the next thing we were thinking about is the brief itself. So we asked them to come up with a level design and to use that level design to teach us the mechanics and mm -hmm. kind of the tutorial element. So if we think about the level design. Um, so, so my problem with it is there isn't much in the way of design, right? It's a yeah. big, it's a big open empty space, which you know the sea is. Yeah. But if they put down like a couple of rocks or something, or yeah. like um, I don't know, like a hurricane area that either slows your boat down or speeds it up yeah. or something like that. It or, would... or again, just use just use what they've got. So so you could have something like you know it'd be the crates, it'd be the layout of the crates and the configuration of those. Yeah. And maybe you, I mean, I suppose it is still an extra mechanic, but you could restrict the area of some of the enemies to different areas of the screen. So you might have you know a lower right hand corner which had a load of sharks in that you've mm -hmm. got to go in to get the final couple of crates mm -hmm. or something. Right. I would even love you pick up crates you could fire faster because you picked up ammunition. Yeah. Right. One of the things I got frustrated with it was just, all right, it's time to reload. And it's part of the game. It's actually something yeah. you have to think about for your strategy, but you can make it slightly more complex by... Well, I'd be interested to see what they thought their um, core, core dynamic was when we get to that in a minute. Mm. Okay, so in terms of level design then, so they they clearly have progression here. They've got, they've got two different levels, if you like, with the crates, and then they've got the kind of the Kraken, and then, it, then you go into the to the kind of the level with all the all the enemies in it um, so there is clearly something there but it feels to me that this might be one of the weaker bits of the, of the game actually yeah yeah um, so satisfactory would be a sensible level design that demonstrates Ooh, look, some I'm of in the, the whale. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's impressive it's got a crown oh and it's bounced oh, you out um, yeah, a sensible level design that demonstrates some of the mechanics with an attempt at pacing and some goals, risks, and rewards. I kind of feel they have got that. They've got some attempt at pacing through the levels. Yeah. They get kind of, they do build up, um, but it's probably at the so lower it's end. The of lower that. end of that, maybe yeah. even a borderline. But I, 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 I think probably a borderline. I, I, you know, it's the the bottom end of the the satisfactory. So it's it's kind of yeah, that would that put it somewhere between satisfactory and a pass, maybe. Yeah. Um, what about the tutorial design? So this is an integrated tutorial that communicates uh, the goals, risks, and rewards through level design and the interesting things in a logical way. So I wouldn't say it's integrated. It's not the fact that it's a separate sort of tutorial stage, but the fact that yeah. it incorporates things that aren't present in the rest of the game, like those yeah. crates. So it's, yeah. it's a good way of sort of demonstrating that the player can use the movement controls. Yes. But, for example, if the player can't use the movement controls, then the message is gone and they're now stuck. Yeah. Yeah, and they do they do introduce things as you need them, I guess. So you've got the kind of moving of the ship, and you've got the firing. Um, but again, the kind of the one of the problems is is that the interaction of the mechanics is quite simple. So there's not an awful lot to teach you. Yeah. But it but it's sort of um, so, and that and that is kind of part of this. Um, in terms of goals and risks and rewards and that kind of stuff, and and. 
They don't really have a lot of that. The problem is, it's, it goes back to that limit of meaningful play. There's, like, yeah. Despite having three interesting types of enemies, you still just go in a circle and keep firing, and that's pretty yeah. much it. There's not an awful lot of choices to be made as a, about what to do or how to do it. Um, so, I think there's definitely a tutorial here. Um, it definitely introduces um, the mechanics, it doesn't really introduce the information. So you're kind of left to figure out, I think, the, the what the sliders are for. I mean, part, um, partly that's okay, because partly, you know, you can rely on people's, like, prior knowledge of games and things to say, yeah. okay, you've got a bar, it's going down when you take damage, it's probably a health bar. But yeah. again, the way it's positioned and things like that, it's not. So at least they bring them in as you need them. So again, I, I think this is probably somewhere around satisfactory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Core dynamic. Um, what did they say their core dynamic was? So they said their core dynamic was destruction, based on the progression, like being from killing all the enemies on the screen. Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's the core mechanic, really. And that's why it leads to that uh, yeah. core dynamic of destruction. Um, so while you've got to manage your movement controls, the reason you're moving is to you know set up your angles to be yeah. able to destroy things better. Yeah. So, I mean, that. So they've, they've got the crates thing in there, which kind of would be a collection mechanic, but then they drop that because mm -hmm. they received the... And I... Yeah. So I, I think my problem with this game is that I think it would have been better to make the collection stuff a core dynamic and then have the enemies as things you have to avoid as opposed to actually trying to destroy them. But, or even you can destroy them, but again, your refire rate is based on how much you collect, right? I mean... Yeah. Sure, but given that they've chosen to make it a destruction yeah. game they they have yeah. emphasized that so it's yes. like the reload mechanics and stuff it's all based around you're right trying you're to right. destroy things so what they've got there does feed into that dynamic it just again there's there's a limited number of mechanics they've got so it's that, not highlighted as necessarily as well as it could be yeah okay so and it and it, and it does it suit the theme of the game so you're kind of it's all piratey but then you're you know fighting Terrible Fighting sea terrible sea monsters. Yeah. 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 Um, and the the graphics and audio visual choices they're all they're all pretty appropriate for what you're doing. I think you've got the kind of um, so yeah. This uh, this seems fairly similar to what we said before actually. So the satisfactory level for this would be a core dynamic that um, uh, uh, that is a, um, a core dynamic, but it's a poor match for the theme of the game and are always supported by some of the mechanics and all the visual choices. I kind of feel it's a bit better than that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so probably, I reckon, at the good level here. So the core dynamic's pretty clear. It does suit the theme. Uh, it's well supported by the primary mechanics, but again, it is. it's just, just a bit more. But that still puts it up at the, the good level. Yeah. Um, so lastly, we're going to look at their feedback. So what we did is in the... Um, so in the first the, lab session, we asked them to um, pitch their idea to us. Essentially, we gave them some feedback yep. on how they could potentially improve it, and then we asked them to tell us tell us what feedback we'd given them and how they addressed it. Yeah. So what did they say? So a couple of things they mentioned here was um, uh, so they were gonna, originally going to have separate tutorials for um, shooting and uh, moving, but yep. you know, it sort of incorporated those into a single tutorial lot to get all of the base mechanics. So they uh, they nailed that one. Uh, also things like um, level progression, so increasing the sort of difficulty and pacing as you uh, progress through the game, uh, making sure there's sort of like depth to the movement, so potentially adding sort of mechanics like, for example, wind speed or something like that to sort of yeah. add a little bit more challenge to um, some of the gameplay. Uh, and things like um, uh, just sort of like some graphical polish like the shaders and things like that to sort of bring together the theme. So, uh, in their response, they talked about how um, so some of the choices uh, they made deliberately to sort of um, uh, they felt adding those extra sort of mechanics like wind movement and things like that yeah. would be a bit too complex, and they wanted to keep it nice and simple and focus really on that sort of destruction yeah. rather than navigating the level. Uh, some of the things, for example, they didn't they just didn't have time to sort of uh, implement. Yeah. So like adding that sort of extra level structure and things like that. So in terms of where that puts that response, they've they've clearly thought about it and mm -hmm. they've articulated what the feedback was. Um, and they've made some changes, and I guess we've got a partial success, probably. So that puts them at the satisfactory level for Absolutely. feedback. Does that sound about right? Yeah. yeah. Um, brilliant. Okay. Any last comments on it? 
No, I think yeah, that sums it. up everything quite nicely. Yeah, I mean, I, I think kind of... Um, I, I would go back to that thing about saying I there's a lot that you could add to it, but actually I think what's missing in terms of what we were asking for was combining those things together in more sophisticated ways Absolutely. without necessarily adding more mechanics or more complexity in that way. Yeah. Um, and we talk sometimes in, this, in the lectures about complexity versus depth. And I think there's no need to add more complexity. You could get a lot more depth out of this with what you have already. So, Okay, I should we move on? on? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so our next game is Capsule Heads, which I don't know if I saw, actually. Uh, so I saw this one in the expo as well. To oh, oh, I do remember prototype. it. Yeah. Press T to skip the tutorial, which is always good. Oops, and WASD to move. WASD to move, and mouse to aim, and then Okay. So this is a typical... Defend the center tower and stay alive. Beware the tower cannot be prepared. prepared. Okay, the enemy's coming, so we're so doing like... Don't lose the tower. Space Invader-esque. And do, 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 so you've got a lot of information around the site. Whoa! Yep. Okay, whoa. Can I be destroyed? <laughs> Yes, yes you can. Okay. Shoot them. I'm trying! <laughs> so, so this time that enemy does have a health bar on it. Ah, which is I forgot good. about the mouse. But, but we don't. Which is... We don't. A, do, do I kill it? No, it's odd. Yellow and orange pickups are weapon modifications. Pink pickups for health. Oops. You've lost the tower as I well. Come. Wait, where's my tower? What do you mean I lost the tower? <laughs> where's your tower? Do you remember where you left it? No, I don't. There, there it is. is. Okay. So so you've got, you've got the information around the corner. You've got health 100 Can and tower health 1000. Oh. And you've got your score in the other corner. But again, they're quite small and tucked away. I mean, Perhaps that's, that's probably going to be the, re the resolution, resolution we're playing at. But also, you know, you've got health bars on all of your enemies. Adrian, Why don't you have a health bar? Yeah. Because that, that is where your focus is. So on the one hand, it's nice so, that they've included the tower health. So, because if that's not always on the screen, you don't want to And I can see that Sorry, ticking down. You can see it, but I didn't see it at all. I'm just shooting things. So where is everything? <laughs> and how bad is stuff? So you, when you were up there, I could see that the tower health was, was going down. So I knew the tower was being attacked. And effectively, your goal is to defend the tower. Um, but again, that, that could be flagged up a bit more strongly. So it's almost like I, I want there to be an arrow pointing to where the tower is yeah. on the side of the screen or something. Or and I want that arrow to flash if the tower's been attacked, right? It's a bit more obvious. Yeah. But I have to say, the look and feel is nice, actually. I kind I, of I quite I... like the textures and the models. They work really well with that kind of overhead view. So your tower's being attacked again. Oh, is it again? All right, I'll come back. Where is it? Ah, it's bad. So the yeah, the enemies will are drawn towards you. Yeah. There is sort of like a a, um, a range on that. So if they're closer to the tower than you, for example, yeah. they'll, they'll go straight for the tower. So that is really nice because it means that you've got you that whole risk reward. Them away. Them, you, yeah, can, exactly. you can run up so, to them, lead them away. But then obviously they're There's they're going to go more more So yeah. I think that that's really good. That gives you that kind of so you have choice. There's clearly a way of, of tackling this, right? Whoop. I Oop, think I died. There you died. There you go. Score was thirty-one. Three waves. You lost it. All right. Shall we? Uh, shall we trade up and see if? Okay, uh, so let's see if Tom so, does. Oops, so I don't know if there's. Ah, okay, we can just press escape and go back to it. I was on the tutorial. I so believe. let's do the tutorial again because I, yes. I wasn't. So the tutorial was giving you. So it's welcome to our wave defense prototype. Uh, so it gave you the controls, kind of came up and floated, right? So when I saw this in the expo. These, so I don't think these are tied necessarily to player actions. I think these do no. just disappear, and they disappear quite fast. They're and it, again, familiar. this is another one of these games where you know, if you're saying this is how you move, make make the player move first, and then yeah. and then show. Them. Yeah, get them to demonstrate what they're doing. So another thing is, it says an enemy is coming. Prepare yourself. But if you stay here, you, you don't see the enemy. Uh, right. Where, where is the tower? In fact, well, the enemy. It's yeah, being attacked by this enemy. Okay. So we actually start off screen with no tower. Yeah, and the tower is being attacked right now. Oh, I don't remember where it is. Oh, there it oh, is. There and it there's is. the power up as well. Yeah. Yeah. So also, this is a lot of information at once. So is, I, yeah. I feel like maybe you could have simplified this with like some symbol for these power ups instead of just the spinning cubes. But, I even, mean, but it's, even if they introduce them one at a time, so like the yeah, big exactly. power up appears and it tells you what that does. Yeah. Like, and and ideally, if they gave you a situation in which it was useful immediately after. Exactly. So here's an enemy, kill it with the pink power up. Here's an enemy, kill it with the blue yeah. power up or whatever. Get rid of that. Okay. So. All right. So, um, well, let's 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 start talking about it. So, um, in terms of uh, how it works and bugs, 
Um, it looks to me like it, it works pretty well. It's yeah. got a, a mini thing goes okay. So there are a couple of bugs, but I think there, if um, if you're playing it for long enough, occasionally it will just sort of um, you have to quit out to restart and things like that. Okay. Oh, that's one of the bugs is so one of the power ups give you speed. Yeah. Um, but if you pick up two, so you're supposed to pick up a speed power up. It yep. increases your speed and then it goes down afterwards. Yeah. Um, if you pick up two in a row, it goes back down to the the higher value. So, oh. that so you're permanently <laughs> going much faster. Speed. But other than that, right. yeah. All right. So I mean, I I think that kind of yeah puts, it, puts them. I, w I would would probably have said it's good. Um, yeah. Um, and or, or maybe on that borderline with excellent again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think because um, it's somewhat complex. Like it's certainly like playable. None of them sort of yeah. dramatically yeah. dramatically change the end. So so maybe we'll we'll go on the borderline between good and excellent I because agree. Uh, the complexity of this game there's a lot of moving pieces. So there's, there's plenty going on. Yeah. So okay, uh, presentation. So again, I'm I am a little disappointed with the information design, both in terms of where they're displaying information yeah. about your health and the tower health. Yeah. Um, but also about how they taught us, like how that information was, yeah. was displayed as they were trying to teach us. I mean, it's us. there. It it's was there, there on a screen. But it, um, it, was, it was not a, a part of the game. It was no. a lot of reading and it went very fast. Yeah. Um, the graphics, though, are consistent. Yep. Um, there's, I, didn't, I think there's an awful lot going on audio-wise, but there are some, some basic sound effects and, and that goes a long way. It does. Um, so I would say this is uh, Probably the satisfactory, so key information is shown, consistent graphics, some audio effects on music. Does that sound reasonable? Yeah, that sounds reasonable to me. So what about gameplay? What do we think? So uh, the control is quite, uh, like it handles very nicely, so yeah, the enemies sort of show up. Uh, so I think it yeah. generates a random amount of enemies per wave. And I think that, that mechanic of, of the, the attraction works really well to be I really like play, that. actually. Because, like I said, you, you, you do have so some choices. It's not just frantically trying to shoot stuff. You you do have to think about how do I draw them away from the tower? How do I bring them to me? That that works really well. It does. Um, and yeah. in fact, the only reason that that's not a really nice mechanism is because of the information design that you don't necessarily know when the tower is being attacked. Yep. You know? um, so I, I, I think. Um, I actually think it's a very nice game. I, it and I think the, the, the mechanics really work well together. Um, and it has enjoyable, meaningful play. The, the only thing I would say is that there there isn't a wide set of mechanics. Mm. Um, there's just a couple of mechanics. Um, I don't know how you feel about that. They they do bring them together in an interesting way. But is it enough? So the excellent level was a wide set of complementary mechanics, intuitive and smooth usable controls, and enjoyable, and meaningful play. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to kind of give them the benefit of the doubt and give them that, but yeah, I it's am probably too. at the lower end of that. I am yeah. too. I, I mean, look, they, they, you can move, you have to, yeah. you can move, you can draw people away, you can yeah. shoot, you can choose which power-ups to take or not take, depending on whether you want speed or what type of shooting you want, right? Yeah. There's There are a few mechanics there to... And actually, it's a good sign. So Tom is the one playing, and yes. he's very quiet, because yeah. he's concentrating. I am right? indeed. So, so I think that's a good sign. So we'll... we'll I think we'll... I agree. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's excellent. Um, okay, level design. So this is kind of interesting. Um, so again, it's quite an open-ended level, but they do have that central focus of the tower, which is the key thing that you sort yeah. of have. To. The thing is, there's no reason to sort of. Oh, is that the end of the wall? Yeah. You, okay. There's, so there's, there's a, wall a limited size this country. Uh, map. If they'd have put, for example, if they'd have said like the really good power-ups spawn like further away from the tower, that yeah. could have been an interesting thing to sort of. Again, add a little bit more sort of decision making into your, where you go. Right now, you tend to just stick around the tower, like sheepdog a group of them into following you, and then lead them away from the tower. So, and, and the problem is, there's not a huge. So, the, the levels that they have, which are effectively the waves, there's not a lot of variety in There's, there's the just animals. no variety. So, and again, it, 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 if they'd introduced, you just said, if they introduced the, the power ups in a gradual way, if they configured the enemies in such a way that the power-ups were useful in different ways, um, or they perhaps thought about a different set of power-ups, um, so I can't quite—I can't even remember what they have here. But um, they've obviously got speed, weapons, power-up. Yeah. But you know, you might have something like um, I, I can imagine you having kind of more interesting stuff like uh, kind of area effect weapons, like you know, lay a mine, for example. Um, or defend the tower and have shields to the tower, mm -hmm. and, and then you can configure some of the ways that the enemies behave in slightly more complex ways. There we go. Um, I think I've got all of them. 
So I, I would say that the, the level design is probably at the satisfactory level. It's kind of a, a sensible level design, demonstrates some of the mechanics with an attempt at pacing, with some goals, risks, and rewards. Um, and that's probably where it is. And the goal, risk, rewards thing is the bit that, that maybe pushes it up to the top of there, but it's kind of satisfactory. Um, what about the tutorial parts? So, similar to the previous game, they they sort of flashed some instructions onto the mm -hmm. screen, but then they were we didn't have to they were gated them. they were gated by time rather than yeah. proving that we we understood them, which is a bit of a shame, I think. Yeah. And they are they are they are kind of introduced logically, but again, there's yeah. a limited amount of them. It's yeah. move, shoot, and here's some power ups. Absolutely. But if they'd done the power ups one at a time, that would have given them much more sensible. Point of progression, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's, I think it's fine. Uh, it's clear that clearly that there's a tutorial there. It's partly integrated because it appears gradually over time as you play. But um, we're not. But it's, it's not really done through through the actual design of the waves. Yeah. Um, so it's it's kind of. I think we're in the satisfactory category. Yeah, on this it one. feels it feels it feels the same, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, what do they say about their core dynamic? So the core dynamic in this one is destruction, um, yep, basically so. destroy the enemies. Uh, the choice is to not include an ammunition system of the game, um, so that basically you can destroy, destroy, destroy. So I, yeah, I think that's that's kind of fair. So there's, they don't really. I, mean, I suppose there's a survival element in the fact you're defending the tower. So this is the thing. This is going to lead into the next bit a little bit as well. A lot of the feedback we gave them during the feedback session was sort of how they tread that line between destruction and survival. Yeah. So I think some of the features they talked about in some of the early design of this definitely confuse that line. Yeah. And I think they've made some nice choices where, for example, the score is tracked based on the amount of zombies you kill rather than the amount of time you survive. Yes. Which again sort of emphasizes that sort yeah. of get points for killing the things rather than So we've, we've, said, we've said a number of times it's, it's okay to have multiple dynamics in your game. Oh, absolutely. But, but the other ones need to be in subservience to the main one. And you're right, they've kind of achieved that here. So although you know, you're trying to get the tower to survive, mm -hmm. the reason you're trying to get it to survive is it gives you more time to, to kill the enemies and build your score up. Um, so I think it works, actually. I think it works quite well. Um, I, given that it's destruction, it would have been nice if, in terms of thinking about um, some of the balance and the difficulty aspects, it would be nice if your weapon had got better, as it were, over time in some way, because you've got some of those power-ups. Yeah, so there's a couple of power-ups power -ups that uh, let you do that. So for example, this one adds burst fire. But it, it's it's time limited, right? Yes. So so essentially, it gives you a short term advantage, and then it goes away. Whereas a longer term reward or something. A, a longer term reward that's kind of offset by the increasing number of enemies that are coming in, or harder enemies, or tougher enemies, that kind of thing. Yeah, it really um, helped emphasize that over the survival. That, that that would have given you that, that kind of more interesting variety of things. But yeah, I, I think core dynamics could be there. Um, in terms of the audiovisual choices, do you, does it feel like a satisfying destruction game with the way that things? I mean, the, the enemies kind of burst with a nice pop. I like yeah. that effect. And I think like the so when you've got the rapid fire, that noise does get a little bit annoying after a while. But it's <laughs> but it's very arcadey. It's got that sort of fast paced sort of yeah. You know, like, I'm trying to think of a better way to describe it than arcadey. Yeah. But it definitely sort of has that vibe. I there. mean, when I played it, I did feel quite underpowered most of the time. But then that's that's kind of okay. So like I said, it's that it's that treading that line between survival and destruction. So in terms of the dynamic, then I, I would say that it's um, yeah, it's probably it's probably at least good. So good was a clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game, that is well supported by the primary mechanics and mostly appropriate audio visual choices. Um, it might even be better than that. Um, what do you think? So I think that's a fair place to put it, given that, like you say, there's there's definitely still room for improvement on the way they could have um, really, really emphasised that over there. Yeah. So I think I think the excellent category says well supported by an integrated set of mechanics, and I think the problem here is again there's not there's not quite as much yeah. integration as could be, but we're, we're I think I think it's still good. Yep. Um, and feedback, what do they say? Okay, so for the feedback, um, it was the concern about whether the game was destruction or survival. We've talked about that a little bit already, um, and 
they were taking care not to implement mechanics that would promote survival, uh, such as ammunition for the player. Yep. Um, so instead they went for waves and waves of enemies on approach, um, and um, quantity over power with the enemies, so they basically tried to swarm you. Okay. Uh, and then to also to increase the gap between destruction and survival, they decided to implement a high drop rate on enemy death for power-up abilities okay. to make the game faster paced. And so player more power. Okay, that's, that's true. You do get a lot of power-ups, actually. Yeah. So I, say, I would say the wave-based enemies honestly probably feels more survivally. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that they've said, okay, we, we just want lots and lots of power-ups and lots and lots of enemies, and we want... Essentially, you to sort of lose fast, but kill lots of things. Yeah, that's that's the bit that sort of really steers it away from it. So I, I think it's pretty successful. They've clearly yeah. they've clearly thought about it. They yeah. they know the problem they've got themselves into, and they're designing away from that edge, aren't they? Absolutely. So I mean, I would I would say that's probably an excellent category. Feedback can be articulated, and appropriate and effective changes Agreed. have been made. And in fact, the other bit of t uh, feedback they were given was that there should be a, a true tutorial stage that's skippable. And they did yeah. that. They basically, you can, you can go right into play. Okay, let's move on. Okay. okay. So our next game is You Grapple. Did you? Um, Ready? So we had a couple of people do sort of grapple-based um, mm. platformers. I guess this is one of them. That's a lot of information. That is a lot of information. <laughs> Where do I start? Is this like a menu? I always start at the end. I shouldn't do that. I think because start, starting at level one. Do you think? Two, but they're one, all two, level two. ones, you see. So you're yeah, level one. Okay. So essentially they've sort of divided their levels into chapters that sort of look at okay. similar mechanics. Well, that's quite... I mean, I mean, one of the things we talk about is that kind of hierarchy of challenge, and that's clearly there. And, that's, and again, because it's just a prototype, having sort of yeah. all of your level balls, like, levels accessible from the start yeah. is a good idea. Ah! Okay, there we go. I'm so, having so much fun. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, so they've clearly done the thing that, wow, that, that's a big jump in complexity, but nice. All right. Now, so if this, I, this, is, this is good. So it's leaving if I three. Fall, so, if I fall, if I just fall down, can I get out? Yeah, because I think you lift up while you hold. Uh, just a little bit, yeah. So I should say when in early, so this will um, come up in the feedback, but one of the, this was initially their first level, uh, okay, which was very very complex. So I'm glad yeah, they added yeah. that first level. That's yeah, just, no, no, it makes a lot of difference. This is this is what yeah. a grapple is. A and D and D. Okay. So they've done really well so far with not giving us any written instructions of what on earth to do. So can you if you press A and D, what does it actually do? Does it oh, slide to you? Okay. So that's not actually what it's supposed to be teaching. So if you grapple there, then uh, you, then you can swing. swing. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, that's a bit of a tricky one to teach without words. Yeah. So the idea is works. you're not really meant to be able to move when you're not grappling. So the fact that you sort of slide along the ground is... Yeah. It's not quite a bug, but it's just sort of it's an unintended yeah. way of playing. Unintended feature, yeah. right? But, but that works, so you can... But I, I, yeah, it's nice. They've they've made a really good attempt to teach everything, sort of symbolically. Um, there you go, and it shows you what you've done. So that's quite nice. Again, it tells you that information. Okay, escalation. Where am I going? Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. So presumably you have to grapple that thing. Yes. I oh. come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So you have to wait so for that to come it's also another game. example of how really simple look and feel works just fine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's very effective, um, but incredibly simple. But I don't think there's any sound, which is a shame. Uh, I think there should be. I think we may have turned the volume down so far. Okay. So. So I've just turned it up a bit, but I'm still. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. So we've got. <laughs> Sorry, the sound actually makes a big difference. <laughs> nice satisfying thump. Yes. Oops. Oh! <laughs> Quick grab it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I quite like the, the. Yeah, there you go. And then you can sort of wiggle <laughs> grapple yourself to the. Yeah. All right. So so minimal sounds, but but effective. I'm loving the sounds though. Yeah. 
Yeah, and a nice progression of levels as well. I like kind of, you know, there's Oops. movement going on. So. <laughs> what happens if I fall down here? Uh, you lose. You go back to start. But again, because it's like very short level iterations, they've got... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So presumably you could still jump and... So you can swing and yourself and then grapple, grapple again. So, <laughs> oh, so the grapple will go towards your mouse, so you probably want to slightly over there. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was yeah. I'm that was you made that. That was using their bug. <laughs> yeah. Is if it's a bug. So here we go. So some so sequence of pits to go across with some. So this is kind of interesting. I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised they didn't introduce this after the, yes. the first pit one. I feel like this would be a good place to level as well. Oops. But it's you know jump over a pit that won't kill you, followed by a level where you jump over some pits that do kill you. Before you start adding mechanics like the switches and the, that's right, and yeah. the lifts and stuff, so but it works okay. I, like I'm glad they definitely yeah. added. Oh, this is monkey <coughs> bars. Okay, so it feels like these levels should sort of be the first ones still. Yes, because these are just about moving with the grapple. But oh, this is it's working. For oh, <laughs> but but even that, I mean, I've got, so again, what I like about this is that. They they don't have that many mechanics, but the level design is exploring the full set. Yeah. So this is a very different challenge to some of those earlier other ones where you're when you're trying to figure out how to move around the platforms. Yes, you're going to take this one next. So so that's the thing. I think sort of mechanically, it makes sense for these to be the first levels because yeah. because it's just the grappling. However, yes. in terms of challenge, yes, this yeah. is probably a good place for it because right. the, it's quite the, the first one with the lift is just. Grab, grab onto the lift, hold onto the lift. Yeah. But you're right. Um, I have to say, that I'm, grapple mechanism, I'm, having, I'm not playing, but it looks really good. I'm it, having so much it's fun. It's hard to get right. I think they spent probably the first like two and a half weeks of development working on just the grapple. I can just imagine because, so. You guys can play. This is actually so much fun. Mm. I mean, it is, it is, it's one of those mechanisms where whenever people say, oh, we're going to build something with a grapple, I kind of internally go, oh, really? Do you, do you know how hard that is? <laughs> um, but it it's really, really effective. Yeah. <laughs> the bridge has it. Been... Oh, that's exciting. So what's that one? Ah, Try again. That is a nice adding thing. That's good. So I think this was one of the things that when they were talking about, we want it to be, sp again, this is something that's going to show up in the feedback, but they were saying, yeah. we don't want it to be really race to the end. We want it to be more about spatial reasoning. Yeah. So they've added these puzzles in to sort of really emphasize that it's about navigating yeah. the level rather than yeah. well, navigating There's no, there's no timer, is there? So. so there is a high score for... So your best on, time. Yeah, ah, so yeah, you get your best time. Best time. That yeah. sort of sticks around. So And then this is the last level where it puts together okay. all those mechanics. That's so excellent. Nice. Oh wow! Okay, so it brings it all together. Ah, ah. Missed it. Very nice. So let's start going through. So in terms of um, in terms of bugs, um, it kind of looks to me <laughs> that is very nice. So it has a, it has that kind of that gives it a kind of domino rally rally feel, which is that was quite, really well cute. done. So um, okay, so in terms of in terms of bugs, do you wanna do you wanna start going through it again so we can kind of yeah um, yeah I, I I there's none obvious to me no um, and there's there's a there's a decent amount of complexity there is in this game. Um, so I mean I would say it's it's clearly in the excellent category absolutely um, I mean I suppose there could be slightly more going on but. You know I actually thinking. don't think I mean they had you push bridges you you. You move things. There are moving pieces that you can go to. You yep. yourself are moving. I actually think it has a very so good perhaps top top end of excellent. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think so, certainly for a, like a, just a prototype that might go on the portfolio, yeah. it's got Absolutely. enough mechanics to sort of keep it's, people it's interested. The right level, isn't it? Uh, presentation. Uh, so the key information. So the only thing is, and they they, they may have made the decision for the core dynamic reason. They don't have a timer on the screen. I think that's why they've not included that. Um, but other than that. All the information is shown symbolically. Absolutely, and it's um, intuitive. I was, I knew what to do. It, it's all shown in the right kind of places. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got a kind of little mini thing in the the, the, the top top left, uh, but I think it's pretty good. The 
again, so that the look and feel we've talked about, and I think works really well, and they've chosen colours really cleverly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yellow is always moving, grey is always static, pink is always dynamic box. Yep. So I think the information design in this game is really good. Actually. I do too. Yeah, I do too. Um, and the, so, so again, the, the only thing is maybe they could have done a bit more with, with sound, but I, I'm quibbling. Yeah, you're quibbling because I love the I actually love the noises once we actually got the sound on. I, I think they add to it. There's the suction cup as you hit. Yeah. It, it actually gives a really nice feedback. So, so again, I think it's clearly in the excellent category, right? Yeah. Key information is shown clearly, consistent appearing graphics, good use of audio. Um, so the, the, the only th so the thing that will put them up in the prize worthy category will be kind of novelty in the presentation. I, there is an element to that, I guess, uh, with the symbols and things, but I kind of feel that kind of excellent probably. I think excellent is about right for this. So uh, presentation, so gameplay. It was it fun. Is, it's really fun. Yeah, the mechanics go together in a really interesting way. So you've clearly got meaningful choices yep. um, and meaningful play. Yep. Um, you can the see grapple the grapple mechanism works brilliantly well, and that is hard. Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, so okay, so excellent would be a wide set of complementary mechanics, intuitive and smooth usable controls that lead to enjoyable and meaningful play. I think we're easily in excellent um, category. So right? I think that's well there. Yep. Uh, the, the prize worthy category will be complex and complementary and novel and intuitive controls. It's verging on it's that. Verging it on it that. is verging I, on I'd it. I'd be tempted to, to put this maybe in between halfway them. between the I two. Agree. Yeah. Because of that grappling mechanic yeah. and because of the way in which the mechanics. I mean, interact. if you even look at the difference between the way Tom and I have played this game, right? I relied a lot on edging the block along. Tom's been grappling totally yeah. differently. I, we've actually been able to play ac across different patterns. Well, do you want to just put it in the prize of the category for a stop? That's, it's, I mean, for a prototype game. And for a prototype game, I think this I don't think we really well. for much more, right? No. Um, level design. I think they did an excellent job in level design. There were some, some discussions while I was playing about maybe they should have reordered what went where in terms of level. Yeah. But, but I think but in terms of challenge, it, it does yeah. sort of... Like, the pacing is very good. Yeah, pacing's mm -hmm. great. And you had a... It, unlike some of our previous games, you had to show, prove that you knew the skill before you yeah. progressed, before they took the information um, away. So the only thing I did wonder about is we did talk about, uh, but, and again it comes back to that meaningful choices thing, it's about having choices in the level design about ways in which to approach the level. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure whether there are multiple paths through these levels or multiple mm. ways to do it. Um, I suppose the, the the thing that would motivate you is time. Yeah. So are there harder ways to do it that are quicker? So technically, yes, in some of them. So the one where you... Um, I'll see if I can get to it after this level. Okay, I just jumped to it. The one with, where it's got a sort of staircase, this one. Yeah. I think... Oh, nope, not this one. The secret staircase. I think technically it's possible to sort of like jump to here to here and then do a swing to up to here rather than going right the way across. Right, okay. But it's it's kind of so. I would say that's the only thing on the level design is they've missed out on a little bit is is Choice. thinking a bit of the alternative routes through or alternative ways of doing things, which um. Which I mean, for a sort of spatial reason, a puzzle isn't necessarily you know killer. No, that's but, true. That's true. Um, but I mean, I still think they have a sophisticated level design mm -hmm. that demonstrates a wide range of mechanics and varied pacing. Um, so the thing that's missing is the balance goals, risks, and rewards. But the the level design is so good otherwise that I'm still tempted to put it um, maybe halfway between excellent and good. I, I, I'm or, happy with that. Um, I mean, I don't know. As you said, for, for, for a special reason, though, it's, it's, it's slightly less important. Um, so, I mean, good would be uh, a sensible level design that demonstrates a number of mechanics with good pacing and some clear goals, risks, and rewards. Uh, so, it, I, I think it's clearly a sophisticated level design, actually. Um, and well balanced, linked to alternative. I mean, so, the prize worthy one explicitly says there should be linked to alternative paths for different goals, risks, and rewards. And here it's just about. I mean, you could argue that, that just the speed 
Yeah. Kind of gives you some of that choice. So do you, do you approach this carefully and slowly, or do you try and rush it? Kind of builds it in. So you, I, I guess you could argue that that, that that has it in there. So perhaps, perhaps, um, yeah, it's somewhere between excellent and good. But I, I, do either of you have a view of which which way it should go? I think it should go on the excellent side. Okay. Woo! I'm not going to argue. We, we, we clearly like it. Um, and the tutorial element. Um, they did exactly what a tutorial should be. You get to practice, practice, practice everything you're learning. It's integrated. It's very in, short iteration cycles. So if, yeah, you, if yeah. you mess up on a level, you don't have to go back miles. It builds logically. Um, like, yeah, the only sort of like <laughs> the only nitpick we've had for this is some of the sort of the mechanics yeah. are introduced sort of yeah S -s slightly out of sequence but there's but again the, but again the it, problem is there's two alternative sequences by a yeah. uh, way to do it yeah so i mean i i think it's um I mean, it's clearly excellent again so for me the question is whether it's does um, it push beyond that does it push beyond that um so in terms of excellent you know this would say it's fully a fully integrated tutorial um which actually it is um but it's a Introduces, way. yeah, in a novel yet logical way of introducing the information and mechanics. Um, they're kind of there. I, I, I'd say it's probably closest to the excellent. So we put it halfway between the two. Okay. Um, so core dynamic. So core dynamic, <laughs> spatial reasoning, and uh, like and it delivers. Yeah, it delivers. Yeah. So because they've. The only thing that really takes away from it is having your high score be the, the be the timer rather than you know the number yeah. of puzzles you've completed. But again, that idea of you can have multiple multiple yeah. oh, I pointed the yeah. long way. Multiple sort of dynamics, and I think spatial reasoning is definitely the dominant one here because they've got these sort of physics puzzles yes. and things like the switches and stuff. Yeah. It'd be nice. So there's only really one level I think where they've got the switches, or so, including or rather not including. This one. So the other way of doing it without having that timer would be to have things within the level you had to collect. <coughs> that was and fun. Then, that'd just be collection rather than But but then having a, but, but being being able to finish the level without collecting anything. Uh, so you you rather than having it littered, you might have two or three things in the in the level. There's two, so basically two or three points you need to get to and you can finish the level without going through the different bits. Yeah. But but it's it is quite difficult to do it with spatial reasoning. And I think you're right. I think although the timer is here, it's clearly subservient to the to the to the kind of puzzle element. Um, yeah, but but it's it is kind of I mean once you've figured it out, it does then turn into a yeah into a kind of timed experience. Um, so in terms of the the core dynamic, um, they said spatial reasoning. But yeah. Um, so it, I mean it's clearly good. Yeah. So is it excellent? A clear core dynamic that suits the theme of the game and that is well supported by an integrated set of mechanics and appropriate audio visual choices. Um, so I, I think for me here I, I would still put it on excellent, but I would I would put it keep it there because yeah. of that slight tension with the timer. Yeah. I think I mean, when you're at this when you're at that level, yeah, kind of you know you're being very nitpicky. But yeah, okay. Um, and what do they say in terms of feedback? Uh, in terms of feedback, um, distinguish the dynamic and spatial reasoning as opposed to race to the end. It was recommended to place more focus on the physics elements of the game. So the root challenge is to navigate the player to a goal using the grappling hook mechanism. Um, so instead they were looking more on the physics, uh, such as lifts and switch and response to obstacles. Um, so they, they were trying very hard to make sure it wasn't just a race to the end, that it was um, yeah. a spatial reasoning. And then during playtesting, it was highlighted that the loss of momentum when traveling left and right led to an unsatisfactory player experience, which is why they added the AD um, controls. Oh, I see. You can swing. So you could yeah. swing more. Um, so then that required more tutorial elements to be added to the game to make sure the user practiced them, which yeah. was actually good. I mean, it was really good they made the user practice these things. And then it was suggested that a final level could be implemented that brought together the mechanics that were introduced separately. Um, so in response to this, there's the 12th level, which integrated the lift and physics and item, and which they did. Which, I mean, which really is very effective. It actually. really was wonderful. Because that shows you what the game would be actually like. Yep. Um, 
So, uh, I mean, okay, I, I, again, I think they've done a really yeah. good job. And the only bit of feedback that they did respond to was it, the first tutorial level was was very cluttered, um, so and so it was hard to, it, which I think you said was this one, so it was hard to determine yeah. what was important. Um, so they split it, they intentionally split it. Yeah. Um, and so I think all that worked. Yeah. So, so the only difference between excellent and praiseworthy here is about um, how imaginative the changes were. Um, and I think they've kind of uh, they they clearly they clearly uh, articulated what they did. They made very appropriate and effective changes. Yeah. Um, I don't think they've necessarily quite gone to the imaginative level, but yeah, um, it's, I think it's, it's effective. Absolutely excellent. Um, uh, but yeah, excellent. Yeah, I, yeah, agreed. Good job. Really nice game. Really well done. Well done, guys. Okay, I think we kind of uh, we should finish up there. So that that concludes our first batch of let's plays. Um, and we really enjoyed playing those and we'll see you again shortly for another video.